Hey guys, good morning. Oh, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. It has been a minute. I know the cruise vlogs basically consumed my content, but we are back to everyday normal life. Um, I am actually on my way to Home Depot to go buy some stuff for some clients. And we don't really know what we're gonna do today other than this. So I'm just gonna take you guys along and see where the day takes us. I just spent an hour and a half at Home Depot because when I came for it, they didn't have it in stock and it was just a nightmare. So I had to like improvise go through, replan everything, and try not to make it come out so expensive. I got all this stuff. This is for like a bunch of different projects, so I just gotta put it all in my car now. All right, I'm back home. Once again, this garage is a disaster. Seems like it can't stay good for more than, I don't know, a few weeks until it's filled with a bunch of random stuff again. So I'm not gonna make this another uh, garage organization video. I think I think I've had enough for this year. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like right now, and then and then show you how I organized it and cleaned it out again. And not as horrible as before. Definitely not as horrible as before, but still just too much unorganized. And I'm gonna be able to make some stuff this week. So let's clean it. Three, two, and done. I am exhausted, but. That's so much better. This is for a client. That's for another project. Everything is clear. And I even took the time to clean out my car because the back seat was looking crazy. And now it's all clean, organized, and smelling all nice. And we got our garage door fixed. So now it closes automatically again. Just a bunch of adult homeowner stuff. I'm gonna go inside and eat, take a shower, and relax. Good morning, you guys. It's the nice day. The next day, the next day. You can say hi, Lenny. No, you say hi to friends. Hi friends. Hi friends. Hi friends. Hi friends. Yeah. Yesterday was basically like a wash. One thing that I forgot to mention yesterday that we were doing is that we have just started potty training, potty training, both of them. I ran out of pull-ups for week and I was like, I do not want to spend another seventy dollars on a whole new like round of diapers and pull-ups. Let's just do it. I'm just gonna nip it in the butt. I couldn't have picked a worse weekend to do it because. There were so many plans that we had for this weekend. I didn't have a job and I didn't have a client on Saturday. So we had so many options of different things we were supposed to do. It was a Puerto Rican festival for in my hometown. My aunt came to visit. It was like a million things that we were doing and that we were going to do this weekend that now, because I started potty training without realizing what weekend it was, we couldn't do because we couldn't leave the house. But anyways, I started on Thursday. Thursday at 12 o'clock, I had them throw away their diapers. I stood up and I started with putting them both on like the actual toilet. Ina didn't really like the actual toilet. I think she was just, she's just really little. Like she's like super short, so it like scared her. So Zeke was going in the potty in the regular toilet and she was going potty in like the little, like the toddler toilet that we have. And she had the first like hour and a half, she had multiple accidents that included our rug in the living room and our couch. And of course the floors and i immediately started to get really nervous because i was like oh my gosh she's literally gonna poop and pee everywhere like this is gonna be a disaster but no after all those incidents when she finally used the potty and like the actual potty she picked it up so fast and she's able to like do it she's been doing it every single time and she's been going on the potty she hasn't had any accidents we did put the pull-ups on her at night though because that's a brand new mattress and i really don't want her peeing on that mattress um so i want to ease her like into that but we went cold turkey like full cold turkey for zeke and he's been doing great he's been going to the potty by himself like he was so beyond ready i've been stressing about this for the past year and a half and the fact that they have made it easier on me than what i expected it to be it has been really a blessing because i was so stressed out but he got it he's officially potty trained and he's been chilling and it's only been three days and he's he got it after day, day one, which was amazing. So I was just like super shocked and so happy. Once we're fully done, they're officially trained. I have to wash all of the couch cushions, the rug, everything, like the floors, all of it. Ice cream. It's only nine o'clock. It's the octagon. Baby, your, your head doesn't go that way. Your head doesn't go that way. You wanna say hi to, you wanna say hi to our friends? Say hi friends. I got ice cream. You yeah, don't got no ice cream. Okay, anyway, so today's Monday, July 31st. It's my mom's birthday today. Her birthday present was me hiring somebody to mount her TV. I tried mounting her TV and it was a complete fail. It was so heavy and ended up falling from the wall. It's because of the type of mount that she got. It was just like a very heavy duty mount. Yeah, so because I couldn't do it, I found somebody who does that on the side and then 
paid them to put her TV up. So her little oasis in her room is almost complete. But I feel like building something today. So I am probably gonna set the kids up here in the living room and set some stuff up maybe on the porch uh, we've been dealing with a lot of wasps and bees around our house which sucks because i said i was gonna take the kids outside a lot but every time i go in the backyard i get attacked by these wasps and i'm not trying to get stung i don't want them to get stung and then we had a huge hive in the front of the house so that's been like another annoying thing happening because we can't even be outside but yeah so i think i'm gonna grab like the little wood pieces that i have and just start just building some stuff for something super exciting that I won't announce yet, that I'll announce later on once um, once I have some inventory, I guess I'll say. Let's continue with this vlog. We got the little potty section over here in the living room. During the day, it's in the living room, and then at night, it's in their room, right, like, right next to her. So just in case she has to use them, their room right now. <laughs> Looks like a disaster. All right, this is gonna be my little setup. So I don't have my tables, I have them at my mom's house, which I should have brought them to make my life a little easier. But these are all the boards that I'm going to be using. I just have to cut them, take all the screws out, uh, sand them down, and then prepare them for, you know, what I'm going to do. Alright, I got as far as just like taking all like the old nails and screws out of those boards before all I hear is the kids literally attacking each other. <sighs> Can't do nothing. I have accepted defeat. I'm gonna have to wait until Milena is down for her nap and I get I give Zeke his tablet because they're just not gonna let me do anything. So I made myself another little apple parfait. I gave Zeke some cheese. I gave Milena some apples. They're in the room right now watching TV and I'm just gonna stay here for the next two hours. All right, let's make these gremlins some taquitos. Yes, I have to clean the air fryer. Don't judge me. So Milena decided to bring me her little potty thing this time. But this time she tripped when she was about to hand it to me and I was turned around and all of her pee went on the back of my pants and on the floor. Yeah. Okay, looks good. It's your birthday again, Lainey? Ready? For the hundredth time? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. It's the next day. Last night, we were at my grandma's house and we said my mom happy birthday. I tried to stay as long as possible. Yeah, we said as long as we could until the kids started acting, you know, a hot mess. I made myself another parfait, but I also made the kids a little parfait this time. Ew, gucky. Gucky. I made a little parfait out of their yogurt that they like, the yogurt sticks or whatever, and then with the granola and some apple slices from Elena. Zeke at first liked it, and then now he just walked away because he said he doesn't like it. He doesn't want it anymore. Whatever. I tried. Mom has off today and she wants to take the kids to go shopping for clothes. So we're going to meet up. I'm not sure exactly where we're going to go yet. And then at three, I have to go and get fingerprinted because I'm actually going to start substituting in the fall. I already applied. I'm just doing like all the necessary steps now, which is I have to go and get my TV test. I should do that this week. Um, background check and then get fingerprinted. Do you have an associate in early childhood education? Because because my dream in high school and my first year at college was to become a Spanish teacher. And then I quickly realized that it just wasn't for me. That teaching full time like that was just not going to be for me. I think I'm going to stick with like late elementary students and then I think I want to try the high school even though I'm like really short I'm five one so all the high school students are probably gonna be all bigger than me I think those two are gonna be like the ones that I like go for so um yeah I start that in a month which is really really exciting I also start something else that I will probably won't share for like another few months sorry I don't want to be all secretive but I'm the type of person that I just don't like talking about things until it's like finalized unless something's like a goal if something's like a goal I'm very open with you guys about like all of our goals and aspirations and stuff but when something is more like I don't know, like targeted at specifically one thing. Yeah, I just don't like sharing it until it's 100% finalized. Thank you, baby. And um, it's mine, it's in my hands type of thing, you know? Let's get these kids ready and I'm gonna pack the car. I'm gonna do all the necessary things to hopefully meet up with my mom in the next like hour, hour and a half. All right, it's been about an hour and a half and we are now ready to go. Come here, show me your outfit. Can I have we are 
It's a horse. Yeah, it is a horse. Yeah, it's a horse. Mm, yummy. Yeah, we tried it. Get them all done. Oh, those are cute. How much is that? Mm, that's not bad for three pants. Yeah. You, you like, like that, Lenny? You like it? Look, it's for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Making each other laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds painful, Zyla. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're leaving here. We're gonna go to Once Upon a Child next, and I'm going ahead of everybody so that I can take apart the stroller and put the kids in the car. Yeah, it's been a few hours. Got back home, had to deal with the chaos of like getting the kids situated because they decided to fall asleep in the car. So then I made dinner. I laid down for like an hour. Tommy got home. Car is packed up with everything I need for going to my client's house, and I'm gonna show you guys this little accent walk that I'm gonna do. Before I left, I had to make me some more coffee. I know I'm gonna regret it. I'm gonna regret it tonight because then I'm gonna have the jitters, but. Um, I'm hoping I can just exert enough energy at doing this accent wall that um, I should be okay. Back home now. I was there for like almost two hours i would say i was missing one board so my calculations were off by one board so now i have to go get that cut it in half and then next time i'll finish it i stopped and got me a freezy because i had to move around the room so i had to take apart the bed to be able to move it and now my back is like the kids are asleep i'm gonna take a shower and then uh, tomorrow we're gonna meet up with one of my friends at the park and then hopefully karaoke night with my cousin so we'll see good morning guys sorry if this vlog is all over the place it feels like it's all over the place i feel like i forgot how to vlog i don't know i think i'm just out of the swing of things this isn't a pimple it's just like a red mark on my face because it wouldn't be my face unless there was a mark on it you know i was doing so good for like a whole month without having something on my face like that big and then now it's all coming out this morning was super hectic i woke up and everybody in this house wanted something different to eat for breakfast melena got her little waffles with bacon zeke got his zeke got his grilled cheese and bacon he's been obsessed with grilled cheese lately like he wants to eat it for breakfast lunch and dinner and then tommy wanted the apple parfait thing we are still potty training i can happily say that zeke is officially fully potty trained melena on the other hand still having issues she doesn't want to tell me when she has to go potty. That disconnect is making it a little bit harder because I can't just dress her in regular clothes. Yeah, if it looks like she's wearing the same thing the last two days, she has two of those purple tie-dye shirts. So she wasn't wearing the same exact one. She just has two of them because I accidentally bought two of them. Anyways, I'm about to have my coffee. It is 8.58 and the kids have been super hyper all morning. Whoa, excuse me. Anyways, we have a few things on the agenda today. So I want to go back outside during Milena's quick nap. And I want to work on this little project that I've been working on. I'm going to be meeting up one of my best friends at the park to have like a little play date with our kids. And then tonight, hopefully karaoke where I'll see a couple more friends and my cousins. It should be a good day. But I also have to do adult stuff today. I have to do laundry. I have to clean the house a little bit. It, yeah. All right. So Melena woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. So she's already sleeping. And Zeke, where did you get that? Open. It was already open and Zeke just helped himself to a snack. <laughs> He's chilling on our bed. We have a few hours until we're gonna go to the park. So I'm gonna continue working on my little project here. Um, and I'm just gonna paint. Paint for the next couple hours. All right, back in the car. I'm exhausted. I feel overwhelmed, all of the above. But let's leave the house anyways. Take that out, I watch some videos. Um, Let's go run some errands and then go to the park. All right, we made it to the park. This is our favorite little park to go to. It's so toddler friendly. It's meant for only toddlers, so you don't really see a lot of big kids here unless there's like a baseball game or something. It's all like cushioned at the bottom. And this is definitely the spot to go. I should have brought a blanket so I can sit in the shade. <laughs> Wins. 
The friends are coming, okay? Set up my little fan. You might think it doesn't do much, but on a hot day, it really does help. And it helps for the kids too, if they get too hot. I'll put it down. Like they got new sippy cups. I'm not sure if I showed you, but these are so cute. Look, look at the, look at the truck. Look, the truck is on the grass. Look, look, the, the truck is driving on the grass. No, not wait for me. You're not going with them. I literally spoke too soon. We got here and 10 minutes later, four older kids are now here. Like older as in like 12 to 16 year olds. Like, what are you doing here? This is a toddler park. You guys having fun? Okay, we're back home. I threw the kids in the bathtub because they got so disgusting. We were there for like almost two hours and they got so gross, like it was bad. So I put them in the shower and then I had to rush to get them out because one of them had an accident and then um and now i thought about sitting down but then i just got this amazon order of this white contact paper that i needed to finish one of the boards so i think i'm just gonna do that never mind the white contact paper that i got is too white look at it and it doesn't look right it's like gray <laughs> Right, guys i completely forgot to close out this vlog as always i appreciate all your love and support and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys